In the early 1900s, the prairie town of Tulsa, Oklahoma was desperate for a source of clean water. So the city launched an ambitious project, building the country's longest pipeline to bring fresh, clear water to Tulsa from Spavanaugh Lake, 50 miles away. This monumental engineering feat kept the city from going dry. Today, Tulsa is continuing with innovative ways to improve its water system. In a pilot project, the city has installed its first water distribution line made from high-density polyethylene, known as HDPE. Polyethylene is the same material that milk jugs and plastic baby diapers are made out of that uh, environmentalists will tell you have a 50,000-year half-life in landfill. Well, that's what you want to make your pipe out of. Its corrosion resistance properties are phenomenal. It's very similar to Teflon. It's a very slick material, it's a very flexible material, and the advantages for water lines is that it is flexible and it will take earth movement. Polyethylene's been used for years in natural gas distribution, it's been used in industrial applications, mining, uh, uh, gas gathering, uh, oil patch applications. Materials like ductile iron, concrete, and PVC that are commonly used in water systems can have big problems. They are rigid and easily broken when the earth shifts or weather changes. Today with the priority on conserving water and cutting repairs, more cities are using high density polyethylene for their water systems. When you're in the water business, you're in the long term business. And when we're talking about polyethylene and water lines that are part of our underground infrastructure, we need to be thinking out a hundred years, and polyethylene meets those requirements. We think that it's the time to use it now for municipal water usage. Tulsa's first installation of a polyethylene water line began in 2007 on the city's north side. Sections of HDPE pipe were easily moved into place, then fused together with a machine from McElroy Manufacturing, a world leader in the fusion industry. This fusing process creates one continuous, strong length of pipe that has no seams or joints. Polyethylene is a tough, tough material, so they, they can manhandle it, they can move it, they can flex it, uh, bend it around obstacles. This pipeline that they're putting in here will be here when our children's children are here. The upfront costs are a little bit higher than the traditional materials cast iron, but the long-term benefits far outweigh. You don't have the water line breakages, we don't have to remove corrosion, we don't have to uh, descale it. So in the long term, it's a far superior material. We don't necessarily want to be the first one to try every product, but on the other hand, whenever you have a product that has shown to be very effective in other utilizations, such as the gas industry, uh, it makes sense for us to move forward and, and test it in the water industry. It's wonderful that the city's reached out and decided we're going to become an agent for change and we're going to try a material that is not new to the industry but new to us because we want to save water, we want to have less leakage in our systems, we want to have lower overall maintenance costs for years to come. There is no question that water will become an ever increasingly precious resource. This city, this country, all over the world and the conservation of water is going to be vitally important. HDPE, with all of the benefits and attributes that it brings, with less line breaks, long endurance, less corrosion, should be an absolute winner in the future. 